All right, welcome back everyone. It's Noha here. And in this video, we're back with another Borderlands 3 Legendary Gear Guide. And in this one, we're showing you how you guys how to get the Legendary Jacob's Assault Rifle, the Becca. Now, the red text for this weapon says shoot them in the face twice. Plus 10% critical hit damage, plus 15% reload speed. And I have an anointed version that says while airborne damage is increased by 30%. Uh, the damage is 867, the accuracy is 71%, the handling is 59%, the reload time is 3.1 seconds, the fire rate is 5.51 a second with a 20 magazine size. I have a dead eye Becca, you can get different prefixes, and I will show you how to do that once I show you guys how to get the weapon. So in order to get this weapon, you're going to want to complete all of Hammerlock's legendary hunts. Now I show me I show me doing the final one right here. Once you do the final one, I killed the final legendary hunt. You go to your mail on the social, and it will be sent to you in the mail. As you see, I'm going to collect it here in just a second. Go to my backpack and actually uh, inspect it. Now it's very easy to do these legendary hunts. They pop up on the map as these little like red skulls, and you just go there and do them. You just explore the maps and find them. Very easy to do. All you do is just go to over to each area and click right on your d-pad if you're on controller and it will actually show you all of the challenges for that map you're on and if it says you've done the legendary hunt then you don't have to worry about that location but if you uh haven't it'll say uh like zero out of one for legendary hunt and you have to go find it do it very simple just do all of those there's only a couple that i think there's like 10 or something like that just do all of those once you do the last one you will get the becca and as you can see, it actually kind of looks like the Maggie. It has the same Maggie paint job, which is pretty cool. Now, here we are on Mayhem 3. Showing you guys gameplay of it. This weapon is uh, really fun for me, especially if you're hitting your criticals. That's mainly what you're going to want to be doing with this weapon is hitting your crits. It does reflect bullets around whenever you hit crits, just like a Jacobs normally does. And uh, a couple other things here about the Becca is that it splits into a horizontal pattern of three bullets. And uh, after mid-range, so it has increased damage. So uh, you're going to get increased damage the farther you are away from an enemy. Because once it hits that mid-range, it's going to split into like three extra bullets and do more damage. So whenever you're hitting your crits with this weapon, and if you're doing it with a little bit of range to so like more than mid-range, you're definitely going to be uh, doing some really good damage. I really enjoy it here in Mayhem 3. It's a very unique looking weapon. Uh, you can get a scope on it if you prefer that. I prefer Iron Sights. It has this cool little suppressor sound too because it has a suppressor on it. Uh, and also real quick, because I completely forgot to say it right there just a minute ago, is that in order to get different prefixes and stuff on this weapon, you will need to read only farm. And uh, if you're on console, you'll need a dashboard farm. If you're on PC, read only. Uh, in order to get this, uh, you'll have to like kill the, ball, kill the final enemy get it in the mail check the mail see what prefix you got if you don't like it reset do it again it's just that simple now here it is on mayhem 4 uh it, it still does pretty good on mayhem 4 but i put even more emphasis on the crits now i have a crit flak build but you're gonna want to be hitting the crits in mayhem 4 because body shots just don't seem to be doing that much here in mayhem 4 but if you're hitting crits it's doing pretty good damage so that's mainly what you're gonna want to be doing here in mayhem 4 and I think it even puts more emphasis on the weapon splitting projectiles. You really see, I'm really up close with a lot of these. That's why it doesn't seem like it's doing as much damage. You get farther away and you hit your crits. It's gonna, it's gonna do pretty good here, in Mayhem Four. It's just, uh, like I said, you gotta be farther away than I am and make sure you hit your crits. Now your body shots aren't really gonna do that much here, in Mayhem Four, but the crits are what you're gonna be wanting to go for here. So this weapon can work in Mayhem Four. You just need to make sure you're doing the right stuff in order to make it work. And other than that, I love the look of this weapon. I love like the pink color with the pink paint style. It kind of reminds me of the Maggie, which is my favorite legendary in Borderlands 2. And it's quickly becoming my favorite legendary here in Borderlands 3. I love the Maggie. But that's all I have in this video, guys. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.